It's E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily. And we're here to keep things simple and fun. Are you just starting off a photography business or maybe you've been doing it for a while and you are just overwhelmed by all of the different things that are going on? Well, we're here today to hopefully simplify that for you and give our best advice on how to stay organized as a photographer. Also, make sure to watch all the way through because we have a special bonus just for you. We promise by the end of this video, we are going to have you motivated to start getting organized in your business. And for the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications of future videos. All right, so the number one thing that helps us stay organized is our client management software, which we use Dubsado. There are other things as well. There's HoneyBook, there's other, other places you can go, but we use Dubsado. Dubsado does a lot of different things to help keep us organized. It's where we send our contracts and invoices through to our clients. It's where we track all of our business expenses, our income, what we spend, everything is easily put into here and categorized and you can actually export the information on a spreadsheet also to send to an accountant during tax time. Dubsado also sends automated emails to your clients so you can set up workflows and email your clients throughout their photography journey to get different um, emails that you wanna send to them. It saves you a lot of time. Dubsado also has client forms, so we create questionnaires for our families, our seniors, our weddings, and we house all of those in there and, they, and you can make them look very nice and then you send them out to your clients. There is just so much you can do with a client management software like Dubsado. So we highly, highly recommend looking into that once you have the money available. Really check into that because it's going to save you a ton of time and keep you very organized. Let's dive in and talk about how we organize some things that we send to our clients possibly after the fact, after we've taken their photos at their session. So again, there's lots of different softwares and programs you can use. We use a web-based software called ShootProof. This is where we send and deliver our photos to our clients. It's quality, it has a beautiful display, and it's very professional looking. So here's an example of an, the welcome page of a gallery when a client gets it. You can choose the photo you put on front you can put a label on there and then they can open their gallery and start looking through all of their great images. This is a safe place for images. You don't have to worry about them getting lost. You also in ShootProof have the ability to brand it. Clients can also order prints through here so you can set all of that up. You can actually offer discounts throughout um, the year to clients or specific clients. You can also link your print orders to professional photography labs for your clients to order from. ShootProof also links directly to a bank account, which is amazing. You can send emails also here to clients. Typically, the only emails we send from ShootProof is their gallery link. We do all of our email sending through Dubsado that we talked about earlier. You can also do contract and invoice through here. Again, we do that portion through Dubsado, but it does give you that option. And the reason it links to your bank account is just because when your clients order prints, then you can get paid through that order. ShootProof also password protects your galleries. So if you would like to put a password on to protect your galleries and only let certain visitors in, you can do that. It allows you to watermark your images if that's something you want to do. You can also create slideshows of the images that you're delivering to your clients and add music if you'd like. ShootProof allows you to have digital downloads. So if you want to offer digital downloads to your clients as part of their package, they can certainly do that. And another bonus is clients can actually favorite their photos. So when they get their gallery back, they're able to favorite all of their favorites and have it all in one place. Another thing we absolutely love and use every day is something called Trello. 
and we use Trello to really communicate back and forth. We create shared lists and reminders on here. So for example, we each have our own little section and I can write little notes to Erin right in her section, or I can add a to-do checklist for myself in my section and you can drag them back and forth. It's really, really handy, especially when we aren't always together to get our work done. We can kind of assign tasks and really communicate very well that way. And it's actually an app too, so you can have it right on your phone or you could use it on your computer. And not only is this good for photography and business type stuff, but you could use this with your spouse for groceries or grocery shopping lists. So there's a lot of different ways you can use it um, and we just love it. All right, and one more piece we wanna talk about with uh, organization in our business that has helped us tremendously could it's also an app or you can access it on your computer but it's just simply Google Calendar so how we use Google Calendar is once a um, session has been booked it goes into our Google Calendar and what we do is in the notes section of the Google Calendar we edit that we add the names, obviously, of our clients. If there's names of family members, like little kids or husbands or aunts and uncles, we add those there so we can go into the session knowing everybody's name. We also add any details or wants or needs that they um, request at their session, if there's any specific. And then also something we like to add in there that we just quickly go through at the start of a session. Sometimes we add conversation starters or just information we already know about them that can kind of spark some conversation at the session. So what we will do is, you know, the day before we'll glance at those notes and then when we're actually driving to the session, we will open that up glance at our clients' names, the family members' names, any special requests they have, and just quick look at some conversation starters if we've listed those in there. So that's how we use Google Calendar. So now that you know how we stay organized, we hope that really helped you figure out ways you can start organizing yourself and your business. So what we have done is we've also created a free guide for you to download in the description below that's going to give you a checklist of things to do when you're first starting out your photography business. So make sure to check that out. And make sure to head to our Instagram page to check out more educational videos, tips and tricks just for you. So right now, comment below and let us know one thing you took away that you're gonna try to implement into your business and make sure to download the free checklist. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and share with a friend so we know to make more videos just like this one. And we will see you next time.